Okay, I'm Mike Bowie and I'm going to show you a few collection techniques that we can use to catch invertebrates. The first one I'm going to describe to you is a pitfall trap. So it's essentially a pottle buried in the ground. This is the type of pottle we usually use, but at home you may not have one like this, so you could potentially use an old or bigger pottle like this, or a jam jar such as this, you just need to take the top off. And so essentially things walk around and fall into it. So you need to find a trowel, if you've got a trowel, maybe a, a large sp old spoon, and dig a hole as close as you can to the diameter of the container. And then we want it to be just at the level of the soil or slightly lower. We don't want it higher, otherwise uh, we'll find that the insects will walk along and hit that and go around. Right, so let's try and fill this hole in. We want to have a nice a nice um, smooth surface around the outside of this pottle or pitfall. We want to try and keep it as natural as possible as well. So there we go, I'm just um, pull that out, get rid of that dirt, put it back in, final adjustments around there, trying to make it so the insects walk straight across and into the... then we need to put a bit of tap water in there, so round about half full, your container, and a little bit of dish liquid, which is uh, breaks the surface tension on the water so that the insects don't just land on the water and take off again, um, they sink into it with just a couple of drops like that. Now what we usually do is to put a roof over the top, and these are fancy ones that we put over top of these to keep leaves and rain and so forth from falling in and birds when they come along and move the looking for insects move these and flick those into the into the pitfall trap so we, we put these on and we usually push them right down then none of you will have these fancy ones so what I have come up with is a couple of other ones you can make at home one from an ice cream container lid, such as this, and you can actually just use an old coat hanger like this and break the wire, you can, you can bend it backwards and forwards until it breaks, and then bend a couple of loops like that, and you can put it over the top, such as that. And you just have it tilting down one side, so that when the water comes to it, it runs off down rather than pulls on top. You can also make a little uh, a little cut in there. And here's a second prototype um, which is just using four pegs. Just push a hole through the corner and sit them over the top there like that. They can be down quite low, they only need to be a centimetre above, above that hole so we're not going to get any insects that are bigger than that. Okay, so that's the instructions on uh, building a pitbull trap.